Welcome to Open the Book. And today's story, well, it's got a lot of people in. Have you ever been stuck at the back of a big crowd or a queue where you can't see what's going on? Well, in today's story, there's a big crowd of grown-ups all pushing and shoving to try and to see Jesus and get his attention. Well, we are going to tell the story and we would love your help with just one <coughs> word action. So when you hear the word friend, <coughs> you're actually going to cross your arms and look grumpy. That's it. Cross your arms and look grumpy when you hear the word friend. So let's open the book and read the story, Jesus and the Children. I can't see. Called a blind woman. Can you help me, Jesus? I can't walk. Called a lame man. Heal me, Jesus, please. He can't hear. Called a deaf man's friend. Touch him, Jesus, and make him well. They were everywhere, people with every kind of sickness, and Jesus felt sorry for them all. So he did what he could to help the crowd that day. I can't see, said a little girl to her mother. There are too many people in the way. I can't move, said her little brother. We're all squashed together. What did you say? Asked their father. I can't hear the crowd. It's so noisy. Excuse me, said their mother to one of Jesus's friends. We were wondering if Jesus could pray for our children. Are they sick? Asked a friend. No. The mother we, answered. The, we just wanted Jesus to ask God to watch over them and protect them. I see, said the friend impatiently. Well, as you must have noticed, Jesus is a very busy man. He has important things to do. Lots of people, sick people to make well. That's right added another of Jesus's friends. There are grown-ups here who need his help. He can't be bothered with children. Particularly children who aren't even sick. Chimes in a third friend. It's just a waste of his time. The mother and the father and the children looked at each other. Then they looked at the ground and turned to leave. They were sad and embarrassed. Does this mean we won't see Jesus? Asked the little girl, rubbing the tears from her eyes. But before her mother could answer, another voice called out across the crowd. Wait. It was the voice of Jesus. Bring your children here. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And he gave his friends an unhappy look. Jesus picked up the little boy and the little girl and put them on his lap. Mm -hmm. He gave each of them a hug and then said, Listen, I want everybody to listen, particularly my friends. You must never keep the children away from me. They are as important to me as anyone else. And I want to be their friend too. Don't you see? God wants us to be like these children, to love him like a father, to trust him completely and to long to be with him. Then Jesus prayed for the children, hugged them one more time and sent them beaming back to their parents. What a fabulous story. Sometimes grown-ups can seem so busy. 
I wonder what they do all day. Driving, talking, cooking, shopping, working, hoovering, talking. Well, I'm glad there's someone in our story today who wasn't too busy to make time for children. Jesus was a special friend to the children and was never too busy to talk with them or listen to them. I want you to close your eyes for a moment and think about how special you feel when someone makes an effort to stop what they are busy with doing to be with you. Now I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer, say amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you for this story, which reminds us that Jesus made a special time for the children. Amen. 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 What a wonderful little piece of history in our Bible that we heard today. It really shows how important children are to Jesus and how important people are to Jesus who other people don't really respect or think much of at all. Often I think we do just want to respect those people that we admire who are really talented or really gifted. And that's not a bad thing to want to give them respect. But Jesus gave respect to the people that were ill, not just the people that were well. The people that maybe weren't brilliant at doing things as well as those that were because he knew and knows that each and every person is unique. That means that nobody else on the planet is quite like you. And so you have an amazing individual set of gifts and talents. And for that reason, everyone can be respected and everyone is precious to God. Now, Sometimes we might behave in a way that doesn't deserve respect. I mean, being mean or uncaring, unkind, that's wrong and we don't need to respect that sort of behaviour. But the more that we care about others and show them respect, the much more likely that we are to receive it for ourselves. Well, I thought that I would ask Anthony some questions to maybe help us understand a little bit more what this thing is, respect. And maybe you might be able to give your own answers to those questions as well. Let's see what Anthony said. So Anthony, when you hear the word respect, what colour do you think of and why? I think of the colour green because I think it's everywhere and so, oh, well, green is everywhere, it's on the trees, it's on the hedges, it's on the floor if it's grass um, and so and I think respect should be shown everywhere so that's why I think green. And what animal do you think of when you hear the word respect and why? Uh, an elephant just because they're very they're big, but they're also quite gracious and also they're very intelligent. So um, if they come across uh, an elephant that has passed away and its bones, they will sort of all gather around the bones and it just looks like they're being really respectful and mourning over it. Wonderful. Mm. Now, what <clears throat> about who do you think of when you hear the word respect? What person comes to mind? Um, a, a singular person, a singular person, um, that's a hard one, well, 
my parents generally were probably the first people who come to my mind when it's um that i know it's not singular but you know yeah. they are a united front so they that's, become one that's great so when and where did you have somebody being respectful to you when and where um what well, actually today um well i met up with a friend and we had coffee and they offered to buy me a drink so which was sort of a mutual respect i think so yeah. and when did you last show respect um that would have been the uh would have been last night actually um where uh, sort of all my friends met up together um, and one of my friends she hurt her back so I offered to take her chair for her. So. Beautiful and then just as you are a Christian mm. uh, can you think of how respect and God go together? Uh, well we are to respect God because and also God respects us he loves us and it's it's a two-way thing you have to show respect in order to receive respect in in my opinion and so as a christian we do the same thing we respect god and god respects us so that's how i think they gel together thank you very much you're welcome well i don't know about you but for me the color would probably be purple for respect because i think of kings and queens and royalty when I think of purple and respect is something that makes someone else very special in our eyes isn't it and in our hearts hmm and for an animal well I don't know what you thought but I think of a lion Rah, with that big mane I'm almost a little bit scared but I also love the picture of Aslan in some of the books called the Narnian Chronicles, where they show God as a big lion, ferocious and, and strong, but also loving and amazing protector and defender. Well, you'll have your own answers. And let's just say a little prayer to ask God to help us to be respectful of others because it's not always easy. And then our year fours are going to lead us too in some prayer. And we will then praise our God who made the universe and yet who sees us even before we are born and gives us unique gifts and talents to share with the world. So I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your own, do join in with the Amen at the end. Father God, help us to respect people around us at school, at home, when we're in the shops, when we go to clubs. And thank you for the people who show us respect as well and make us feel confident and loved. Amen. Dear God, please help people learn how to show respect to others at all times. To be respectful, you need to be nice and caring towards others. You can show respect towards your friends by saying kind words. You can respect your teachers by opening the door, listening in the classroom or asking how they are. Finally, you should respect your family by being nice to everyone and helping at home. Amen. Dear God, please help everyone around us to pay respect to doctors, teachers, police and firefighters and every other human being on the earth. Please help us to show respect by saying thank you and helping others. When respected and appreciated, people feel more happy and more loved. Amen. Dear God, help us live in a world where we respect police officers, firefighters and doctors. They look after us and save lives. Help me to be respectful to everyone. Amen. Dear God, please help us to respect the people who spend most of their time helping others. For example, the NHS staff members who have helped us through such tough times. Please help people to understand that being helpful to others is the right thing, as people will see you as a kind 
as a kind and as a respectful person. Amen. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. So big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do.